everyone and welcome to another session of Thready. Th today we're going to make the stuffed animal sleeping bag. Isn't it so cute? And your stuffed animal is sure to love it. So let's go ahead and get started. In your kit, you will have three things for this project. You're going to have a two fabric pieces and a piece of batting, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of batting and a glue stick, and you're gonna turn your fabric piece, the ones with the stripes, you're gonna turn it to be wrong side up. Remember what we talked about? The pretty side, the not so pretty side. The pretty side is right side. So we're going to place it with wrong sides up. And I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm just gonna put some dots here, there, you know, don't, don't stress too much, okay? Just kind of put them all over, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip this over and place this right on top of the batting and you're gonna smooth it out, okay? Gonna smooth it out. Okay, that is all we have to do for right now. What we're going to now do is go to our sewing machine. And if you see on his little sleeping bag, there's lots of fun stitches. We've got some stars, we've got some little flowers, and a zigzag. This is the time where you get to really make it your own. Check out what different, what we call decorative stitches. Fun stitches is what I also say. And you can choose maybe five or six stitches that you really like. And you're gonna follow the lines on the fabric. See, you don't even have to trace the lines. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to our sewing machine, pick a fun color thread. I'm choosing blue. And I'm going to place my fabric right underneath my presser foot and I'm gonna line up my needle on one of the lines here. Doesn't matter which one. Now, I'm going to do a little zigzag one, okay? And I'm gonna go to, let's do K, all right? and it's different on everyone's machine. You get to pick which one you like, okay? Take it nice and slow. And follow the line on the fabric. Okay, once I get to the end, I'm gonna lift my presser foot, pull my fabric out, and cut my threads. There might be a little cutter on the side of your machine. You'll have to check that out. So now I picked a different decorative stitch and I'm going to follow the next line and go all the way down. Be take it very slow. Okay, so I just finished doing all the decorative stitches that I wanted to. You wanna go about halfway up your fabric piece, okay? So let's go ahead and go to our workstation. All right, and we're gonna place this pretty side up so we can see all our beautiful stitches. Now we're gonna take our second piece and place it right sides together, matching the edges, okay? Now we're gonna take our pins and we're going to pin all the way around, but we're gonna leave an opening. So let's grab our pencil and we're gonna draw a line right here and a line right here, okay? You probably want about mm, three, four, maybe five inches, okay? So mark a line because that's where you're gonna start and stop. Now we're gonna pin all the way around. Okay, once we've pinned all the way around, we're gonna go ahead and go to our sewing machine and we're gonna start at one point, 
go all the way around, and then end at this other point that we marked here, okay? So with the needle in the center position, you're gonna line up your fabric up against the edge of the presser foot. So let me show you. Okay, I've changed my thread color back to white, and now I'm going to take my project. I'm gonna start where that line is that I drew, line up the edge of my fabric on the presser foot, gonna put my presser foot down, and I'm gonna take a few stitches. Whoops, make sure you go back to the straight stitch. Okay. And then we're gonna do a back stitch, okay? Okay, now again, we're gonna take our pins out as we go along Ooh. and take it slow and go all the way around. Now we're gonna turn our hand wheel towards us, have our needle in the down position, making sure that it's in the fabric and we're gonna lift our presser foot and pivot. You already know how to do this. Okay, once we get to the end, we're gonna take a couple stitches and then we're gonna do a back stitch. Okay. Now we're gonna pull our project out of the machine, cut our threads, and let's go to our workstation. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the Tooth Fairy pillow, and we're gonna turn this right side out through that opening. Take a pencil and we're gonna poke those corners out very carefully. Okay, and then we're going to press, make it all flat, and we're gonna fold in the edges right here where that opening was. Now, again, you can take a glue stick, put some glue on the inside there, and press it down to close that opening. Or if you ask the help of a parent, they can show you how to close it with a needle and thread. Okay, we're almost done. Now we gotta make it into a little pocket for your little stuffed animal. So we're gonna turn this over so we see the polka dot side and we're going to flip this up, okay? And you wanna leave just a couple inches at the top, okay? And now we're going to pin all the layers together, okay? Okay, so now that we've pinned it, what we're going to do is go back to our machine and we're gonna sew a straight stitch all the way down here and all the way down here to close it up, okay? So let's go over to our machine. Again, we're gonna have the needle in the center position and we're gonna follow the edge of our presser foot with our fabric, okay? So we're gonna come under here Start at the top, bring our presser foot down, take a couple stitches, do a back stitch, and slowly follow the edge. Keep your hands out of the way. At the end, let's do a back stitch and cut our threads. Now we're gonna do that on the other side as well. So let's start from the opposite end. Put our presser foot down, take a couple stitches, go back and sew all the way down. Okay. 
And to finish, do a back stitch. Okay. Cut your threads. Let's go over here. We're all done. That's how easy it is to make a stuffed animal sleeping bag. So your little stuffed animal can just go right in. And you're done. That's how easy it is to do. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And now that you know how to make this, you can make them for all your stuffed animals. I can't wait to see. That's all for now. We'll see you next time.